Yes, I know my editing sucks. Because uh, I don't know how to edit. Welcome. So, for some reason... Oh, wait. Too much light. You know, we want to make this intimate. <laughs> uh, okay. <clears throat> it's a low-consuming bulb, so you have to wait till it brightens up. Okay, maybe enough. So, uh, I wanted to make this commentary about uh, the new Rammstein song, because uh, Deutschland, you know, um, just came out and um, seen it yesterday uh, when it came out, and uh, I couldn't stop watching it once and again and again and again and again. And it was, uh, you know, I loved the lyrics and uh, the symbology of the whole thing was really 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 profound if you want to put it that way I don't know if um, many media sources would say that it's uh, somewhat offensive or something I don't know because I think it's a very intelligent way to portray the, th the history of Germany um, and what patriotism does it's the ultimate critic and the main theme you know patriotism and uh, you can relate it to the context nowadays with the rising of of uh, the fascists in in Europe due to the refugee crisis and uh, yeah, it's basically about that and uh, I wanted to just mention you know if um, you haven't seen it just uh, do it <laughs> maybe even if it's not your kind of uh, music um, for me it's personally you know it's one of my favorite bands they portray very well the, the history you know it's it's somewhat macabre and grotesque but it's uh, it's its history and basically most of the scenes are uh, plagued with violence religion and uh, domination of, of the higher powers, uh, domination of basically the the thought of that uh, the the high always use the violence and uh, profit and corruption as well is mentioned and uh, you know and justice and do I have to mention oppression? Yeah, you know, I love like they used a black woman as uh, the let's say main character at the beginning the one who resuscitates all of the uh, the germans so to say in the war and you know she's wearing like a an armor uh, i'd say i think it's barbarossa you know when the holy roman empire uh, and you could uh, you could say that it is from that period because of also of the armor they were they were wearing so um found it very particular that they chose to use uh, in every scene at least as an element this uh, uh, woman because uh, it represented something that left clear how Rammstein thinks you know they were basically catalogued as uh, fascists or neo-nazis and all of that because their industrial metal was really hard it sounded like marching basically and um, in the end uh, everyone would be questioning them if they were that and obviously they were and they were criticizing it and they just adopted it to relatively dismantle it anyway we can all agree that you know that the the style is very cool how they use it you know it's obviously very dark you know somewhat uh, industrial gothic but uh, it's cool <laughs> uh, I'm gay for them <laughs> and you know using this figure as the main character you would say 
good because now no one can say that they are uh, racist or they are uh, fascist and uh, all of this video even if it's uh, played with symbolism about it it's obviously a critique you know the Nazis end up shot up by the the Jews and uh, in the end uh, I love the symbology of the dogs you know the in the end there she basically is it like an angel she's the one who resurrected germany she's the one who is the the future of germany if you want to say it the and as well the doom of it and what she does is uh give birth to dogs to hounds so you would say that the future itself of of germany if it heads on that way it will end up uh, being a nation full of hounds and history would be repeating itself so to say but we've been having that since all the time and you know, obviously you know the futuristic elements and the different themes they're touching is it looks really cool the, co the color you know the, the, the bright uh, bright pink and the lasers and all that but um, matches the song you know with, with the the Pianist, uh, basically t uh, playing that tune, you know, the, I don't know if it's called Pianist or, or is it uh, like electrical piano? Anyway, uh, it matches the theme and just wanted to say that, you know, this is uh, actually, if you are not European or you are European but you're not really interested in what's going on, I'd like to mention that... Uh, this song is very powerful, but as, as well, I wanted to do this video because I don't want it to be misconceived. Because uh, I, I once lived with a neo-Nazi. <laughs> don't ask me how. Uh, it wasn't my fault. It was, uh, you know, uh, my flatmates. They were. Uh, this guy needed. To, he wanted to get into police. Imagine. And. Uh, he passed everything except the, the psychological test, uh, <laughs> no wonder. And I remember clearly how he once was just sitting in the, in the living room and I was listening out loud uh, Rammstein and uh, he said, wow, that is national socialist music. You're a national socialist. And all of a sudden he had this bright, like he thought that he found a fellow soul in me it was weird and it was weird because uh, Rammstein is completely opposite but it sounded like and the misconception comes because they can't understand the lyrics because it's German who bothers learning German I guess <laughs> very few I'd say very few and yeah I had to uh, I had to explain him yeah that uh, Rammstein is not fascist you know it's absolutely the opposite and blah 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 and uh, all of a sudden he had his, this disappointed face oh why why are they like that if they sound so cool and you know because they look also really fascist so to say and all that but come on I've been explaining what it is about ah another thing about him I would one day you know go through the hallway you know and uh, the, his room was open and I saw three books and I said wow this guy actually reads impressive but <laughs> you know uh, I, I mentioned it and he just said oh yeah the, uh, those books are, are good are quite good but you know there are too many tubes <laughs> I bet he hates Woody Allen <laughs> Anyway, what I wanted to say with Rammstein is that they have done the best critique on European fascism and especially uh, focusing in uh, Deutschland, obviously we would say, <laughs> in uh, Germany. And I, I found this video quite revealing on, on um, terms of look how everything ends up repeating itself. My, maybe the context is different, the technology is different, society might dress differently, but in the end we end up butchering ourselves. And 
you know, as a European, I'd say I, I'd love people to appreciate this. And not to forget the obscenities in terms of uh, sexuality and uh, somewhat of a sort of cannibalism, you could sense. And uh, for me, it's almost like as human beings just end up eating themselves. Anyway, just my thoughts there. Okay, now I'm supposed to say uh, subscribe and like and all that and as well I'll remind I've got this uh, section where uh, I will read people's stories and um, maybe give a personal opinion or maybe share one of my own which would be maybe probably similar or in the same theme so uh, the anecdote theme will be obviously uh, held up now I'll say see ya <laughs> And my favorite quote of the song is, so young, but yet so old. Deutschland.